The ability to read minds is an extraordinary superpower held by some of the most famous pop culture icons like Superman. But did you know that this aspect of science fiction is turning into actual science? One revolutionary method of reading a person's brain or mind is called electroencephalography, or EEG. EEG is a non-invasive method to measure brain waves through someone's scalp, just like in these images. If we want to understand EEG better, we need to understand how our brain works. With billions of neurons, or nerve cells, our brain is the control center of our body and thoughts. The neurons, which are fundamental units of the nervous system and brain, are responsible for receiving sensory information and transmitting it to other cells. Neurons communicate with each other through a combination of electrical signals, called action potentials, and chemical signals called neurotransmitters. When a neuron wants to send a signal to another neuron, an action potential travels down the axon of the first neuron. This action potential then causes the neuron to pass a neurotransmitter to the other neuron through a synapse, which is a small gap between two communicating neurons. The neurotransmitter can determine whether the next neuron fires to continue the signal. So in order to read the brain, we can just read the information that each individual neuron transmits, right? Unfortunately, there are too many neurons to track individually, and the electrical signal produced by a single neuron is not strong enough to be detected from outside the scalp, where the EEG headset sits. So what exactly does EEG read in regards to these neural signals? Thankfully, many neurons typically fire in sync when an action occurs in the brain, and when this happens with parallel neurons, the electric field produced is strong enough to penetrate the scalp. Think of it this way. As shown in these satellite images, the light from a single building is relatively dim and hard to see from far away at night. However, when many buildings have their lights on at the same time, like in a city, it is much brighter and easier to see. This is just like electrical signals from neurons. Even so, the electricity measured at the scalp is only about 10 to 100 microvolts. To put this in perspective, a standard incandescent light bulb in your house is powered by about 120 volts, which is over 1 million times as much as the voltage read by the EEG sensors, making these sensors extremely accurate. So how do we read and understand these measurements? Since the signals are recorded with respect to time, and they change depending on electrode placement, you can use the difference in signal type and strength between electrodes to determine the location and type of thought. For example, look at this heat map of the brain depicting EEG signal strength, with red representing a strong signal and blue representing a weak one. The red signal is centered around the motor cortex region of the brain. Based on this, we can assume the person is thinking about motion. Beyond just reading minds, EEGs can be used for numerous applications, from controlling prosthetics to understanding mental disorders like epilepsy. You can even use it to play Tetris for fun, like me.